being a producer, this is a real treat to hear it. What's going on YouTube, Taylor Prentice back here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some stuff that's going on in the rap world this week. So right now we're in that like last week of April going into May of 2022. So let's just go ahead and get right on into it. As you guys probably know, uh, Pusha T dropped an album called It's Almost Dry, which has been one of the biggest talking points in hip hop for the past like week and a half or two weeks. And I haven't really been able to listen to it all the way through, but the songs that I did hear were really good. And I feel like the tape has been received really well by fans and critics. An interesting thing in this article that Pusha talks about is how he kind of wanted to create a competitive vibe for Pharrell and Kanye. So if you guys didn't know, all the songs on there are produced by Kanye or Pharrell. So it was cool that uh, Pusha had this idea to kind of make them like battle against each other because it got them like in that competitive mode that just got their best work to come out. And like I said, I haven't heard the whole album even and I haven't really had the time to like sit down and just like bask in it. But the beats are crazy. Pharrell definitely was in his bag. He was doing like darker type of stuff, which I feel like Pharrell is typically like no pun intended, happy type beats. And then uh, obviously Kanye like always does this thing with the beats. I mean, so does Pharrell, but really they were just like neck and neck on this album from what I've heard so far. So I'm super interested to get more deep into this album and kind of see like how I feel about it over time. Cause I feel like my opinion in the first week always kind of changes over time. So it'll be interesting to see how this grows on me. I think uh, most of the songs that I've heard so far will probably stay in my rotation for a decently long time simply just because the beats are so crazy. Uh, like Kanye is, I mean, one of my favorite producers, just the way he's able to use samples and his musical knowledge is just crazy. And then Pharrell's just creative on a different kind of level. So being a producer, this is a real treat to hear this album. And then moving on, we've got Future and he is planning on dropping a new album called I Never Liked You. The album cover was like him in a red suit and a red car. Pretty cool. I think he like had on like sleeping, like a sleeping mask. So that was kind of funny. And yeah, I'm a huge Future fan. So this is really big news for me. Yes, yeah, so right here it looks like he's dropping on the 29th with a slew of other artists: uh, Action Bronson, Kalani, Toro Imoy, Faye Webster. I'm actually not sure who Faye Webster is. Maybe I gotta look him up. And then obviously Pusha dropped last week. And then Kendrick is the next talking point for me. He's planning on dropping pretty soon too. It looks like May 13th is gonna be the day for his drop. And I think this is gonna be like obviously in the news for a long time. It seems like whenever Kendrick drops, it's pretty groundbreaking. Obviously you guys can see here, he smashed the numbers with Damn. And I've actually seen people on Twitter like talking about how they think he can do all these types of numbers first week and stuff. People talk about him like outselling Adele and stuff like that. And it's like, come on, you gotta be realistic. Like no offense to Kendrick, he's a great artist, like one of the best rappers of all time but he's not gonna come close to first week numbers like Adele. She's just on a different level. She's got like that global fan base. And yeah, her music just reaches so many more people. And like, you gotta keep in mind, Kendrick's not like someone that you can just play their music like in a storefront or anything like while you're working. Adele's like that perfect like Coles kind of music while you're shopping and it's in the background. So just like stuff like that is able to get her more plays too. That's kind of why rappers, I don't think, even if like they are like amazing, like obviously Kendrick Lamar will do a very good amount of sales and people like Drake do crazy sales. But I think for that reason, it'll be a long time before rappers are in the same category as people like Adele as far as streams go, especially first week numbers because she just puts up incredible numbers. Like I can't imagine the bag she's seeing off of that. And then the uh, next thing we have is Chief Heath doing a True Religion collaboration. So this is actually more of like a clothing type of thing but I just thought it was really cool. I'm a huge Chief Keef fan, and I actually uh, am getting more into True Religion, which is so funny because obviously like it's kind of died off, but I think it's having like a resurgence. They've been working with smaller designers and just doing collaborations that are pretty cool and bringing some of the hype back to the brand, in my opinion. And I think this will be really awesome. Obviously, like if you've been a fan of Chief Keef, he's pretty much synonymous with True Religion clothing, especially like the jean jacket and actual jeans. So 
yeah this is just really exciting and it's really cool to see uh, true religion reach out to work with him because he obviously like helped make them so popular and he was actually like one of the first people that i remember seeing true religion i wasn't really like familiar with what true religion even was i think until i listened to chief keep music and i definitely know there are a bunch of white kids in the suburbs wearing true religion strictly because of him so this is gonna be really cool and um i'm not sure like if i'll buy any of the pieces typically chief keep's style is a little bit different than mine uh, I like like Montclair's that's like one of the only things we have in common but I do like his style and I feel like people sleep on how much of an innovator he has been in the fashion scene and how much influence he has not only in rap but also in fashion so this is really cool to see and I'm sure the pieces will sell out pretty quickly and then the last thing is we've got Young Thug who made an Instagram post about a new album or it plans to drop a new album and the picture um, I'm trying to get it to load here. All right, finally loaded. But as you guys can see here, looking at this picture, a lot of fans are guessing that this is going to be Slime Season 4. And wow, if we got Slime Season 4, I would be so hyped. Slime Season 1, 2, and 3 are like some of my favorite tapes of all time. I think Slime Season 2 is probably my favorite. And that was like the first time I ever heard Wheezy. Big shout out Wheezy Beats. He's came a long way. Young Thug actually like even shouts him out on Slime Season 2. But if this really is Slime Season 4, um yeah i'm gonna go crazy i love punk punk is one of my favorite albums to drop over the last couple of years and yeah uh if he goes like into the slime season phase he's gonna be going off and it'll be cool to hear gunna i imagine gunna would be on some of the songs it'll be awesome to hear gunna on some slime season four songs and yeah i just hope that he doesn't have a bunch of features on it because I feel like I just like like solo Young Thug and I feel like hopefully he stays creative with it. I feel like Punk was really creative and I thought that so much fun was not as not like nearly as creative. I felt like that was like kind of something for the mainstream fans and stuff. So I'm really excited and just hoping that he stays with his true sound even though like there is no true sound he's kind of like always evolving but that's what's so cool about him hopefully he like just stays to himself and does some really weird stuff for this next tape because that's what he kills it in and that's what i've learned to expect and love from him and like i said punk has been one of my most played albums since it came out so i have faith that it's going to be a pretty solid album or mixtape i don't know like what you consider now it's so weird how some stuff is considered mixtape it's really just all albums but with that being said that's pretty much it for this video i just wanted to give you guys a rundown of what's going on in the hip-hop world and kind of how i felt about those things obviously i touched on some of my favorite artists future chief keef and young thug are pretty much like a lock for me and people i will always be interested in so if you guys follow my channel you'll probably see a decent amount of news about them in the future and uh kendrick is obviously just like a huge huge artist same with Pusha T whenever they drop pretty much like the whole rap community takes the time to listen and see what they drop so I thought I would just touch on those but it seems like we're going into a really exciting phase in music it seems like there's a lot of good projects planned out for the next couple of months so this is an awesome time to be a fan of music and just be a fan of producers obviously future had this tweet today like shout out shouting out all his producers so that was just amazing to see as a upcoming producer how he's showing love to everybody he works with because a lot of times it is like producers are kind of like the linemen of music so they just don't get the love that they deserve it feels like sometimes so it's amazing to see people like future and young thug who kind of always show love to their producers but yeah that's it again for this video thank you so much for watching if you made it to this point hit that like and subscribe if you could and we will see you next time have a good one